everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Richard III It was in August of 1485 when the English ruler King Richard III fought valiantly in the Battle of Bosworth. But even though he fought well, he still lost his life during combat. He was killed and then buried by the Franciscan Holy Order, the Grey Friars, at their church. Over 500 years later, archaeologists with the University of Leicester and the Leicester City Council discovered his burial underneath a parking lot. All of these years went by and the king's bones had been buried right underneath where people were parking their cars. This was the parking lot for the city council workers and their office of social services. But hundreds of years ago, it was the graveyard of the Grey Friars Church. After the bones were discovered, they were analyzed for DNA, and that DNA was compared to the descendants of King Richard III. The DNA was a match. The carbon dating matched with his historical death, and the bones seemed to be from a man in his early 30s who had been brutally murdered in combat. There was no denying it. This was the skeleton of the king. Following the discovery, the king's body was reinterred at Leicester Cathedral, where he is on display for all to see. Number 9. Mass Grave Under Irish Bar Evidence of a hyper-violent massacre has just been found in Ireland, underneath the floor of a pub. A mass grave was unearthed in 2021, under Nancy Spain's public house in Cork, with the bodies supposedly the victims of a prehistoric brawl or a slaughter that left their bones pulverized to dust. The skeletal remains were initially found thanks to the demolition of the pub. It was when workers knocked the walls down and started ripping out the foundations that they came across the skeletons. And while the media called it a mass grave, there were actually four men buried here, with two more bodies found nearby in shallow graves. They were all between the ages of 18 and 25 and had died a violent death. According to bone expert Neam Daly, they had their feet bound together and their hands tied behind their backs. They appeared to have been so severely beaten that many of their bones were smashed like chunks of ice being hit with a sledgehammer. We don't know who these men were, but historians do have a pretty good idea. Radiocarbon dating shows they lived in Cork sometime between 1447 to 1636. This would mean they could have been young men fighting in the revolt against the English, the Desmond Rebellions, or the Nine Years' War. They were almost definitely soldiers and had been captured and then brutally tortured before their remains were ditched underneath the pub. Number 8. Anglo-Saxon Burial The decaying remains of over 140 people were just discovered alongside a busy English highway. It's called the HS2 and the skeleton bodies were dug up during road construction right alongside the pavement. It turned out to be an Anglo-Saxon burial site, and there is likely even more to it underneath the actual road. That means that people are driving over the grisly remains of their own ancestors every single day. Archaeologists didn't only find a graveyard full of bodies, they also identified a whole heap of artifacts. These Anglo-Saxons had been buried with their favorite objects, things like jewelry and knives. One of the corpses even had a personal grooming kit in his grave with him. According to historian Dan Snow, the site has revealed a set of stunning discoveries. The remains are from the Dark Ages, one of the creepiest and most desperate times in European history. These skeletons can help researchers learn more about what life was like for the English during these dark days. One of these skeletons belonged to a man who died between 17 and 24. He had a sharp iron object stuck in his vertebrae, suggesting he had been stabbed to death. Something was thrust into his body so hard that it got lodged in his spine. Clearly, these were violent times, but the Dark Ages wasn't all gloom and doom. Over 2,000 beads were found inside the graves and 89 brooches. A brooch was used back then to hold up garments like cloaks and women's long robes. They may have been stabbing each other to death, but they still took the time to decorate their clothes and other personal belongings with colorful beads of amber and glass. Number 7. The Buried Capital of the Aztecs Underneath Mexico City is the buried capital of the Aztecs, the once-proud city of Tenochtitlan. 
In 1519, Hernán Cortés and 400 of his Spanish soldiers entered the city and realized they had come to a magical place. It was unlike anything they had ever seen in Europe before, what to them must have felt like walking through the gates of a new world. But it was also a place of great horror to the Spanish. When they began to explore the city, they found temples soaked in fresh human blood, raw human hearts being burned in braziers, and a thick stench of death like nothing the Spanish had ever smelled before. According to the chronicler Bernal Díaz del Castillo, the interior of the city made him think of a Castilian slaughterhouse. Another thing that surprised the Spanish was just how populated the city was. Tenochtitlan was filled to the brim with people, more than the Spaniards had ever seen in Rome or even in Constantinople. It was truly an amazing place. And then the Spanish destroyed it. They saw this blood and gore as demonic, and they could tell this city had to be torn down if they were going to conquer these people. And now, 500 years later, Mexico City stands on its broken bones. Mexico City was built on top of this paradise of sacrifice and exotic canals. Under just about every surface is a piece of the old city. For example, ancient structures have been found underneath tattoo parlors, parking lots, beneath the rubble of structures destroyed by an earthquake in 1985, and more. There is a great site underneath one of the subway stations near the historic center, and another site underneath the Metropolitan Cathedral. Whenever city workers move in to repave a street, they inevitably come upon ceramic shards, random artifacts, and pieces of old Aztec bones. Number 6. Ancient Roman Floor An unbelievably well-preserved Roman floor has just been found hiding beneath the streets of London. In the capital of England, a floor decorated with a mosaic 1,500 years old was uncovered by archaeologists from the Museum of London Archaeology. It's unbelievable because the mosaic is still rich in color and looks as though it was made a few days ago, not 15 centuries ago. Even more shocking is that this ancient piece of history was discovered near the tallest building in the UK, the Shard, right in the middle of downtown. The floor dates back to the 2nd century AD and turned out to be the biggest unbroken section of Roman mosaic discovered in London for over 50 years. Site supervisor Antoinette Lertz called it a once-in-a-lifetime find. Archaeologists believe the floor was once part of an extremely large room, something we might compare to a lavish dining room in a large, stately manner. To the Romans, they called this room the Triclinium, and it was where they feasted. The building itself was likely a Roman hotel called a Mansio, a place reserved strictly for wealthy Roman citizens. It would have had stables, luxury accommodation, and lavish dining. On top of this mosaic was where high-ranking officers in the Roman army would have taken their guests to drink wine and gorge themselves on food over a thousand years ago. Number 5. The Victims of Waterloo 207 years ago, in the year 1815, one of the most epic battles in English history took place. Tens of thousands of men died during the Battle of Waterloo, which took place in modern Belgium. But what's always bothered archaeologists is that not very many of the victims have ever been found. We know where the battle took place, and yet almost no human remains have been discovered. There have been a few, like some random amputated legs and a man's skeleton discovered underneath the parking lot in the south of Brussels, but that's pretty much it. The most probable reason why so few remains are out there is a little disturbing. According to a news report from the London Observer in November of 1822, the soldiers who fought the nation's battle upon the continent of Europe were imported as an article of commerce to fatten her soil. In more modern English, the bodies of the dead were sent back to England to be used as fertilizer. While we don't have any real archaeological evidence that this happened, the report from 1822 and the blatant lack of bodies has been enough to convince most historians. Number 4. Construction in Mexico Recent construction in Mexico has revealed a shocking archaeological site from over 1,000 years ago. This ancient site includes a graveyard as well as the remnants of a very old settlement. It was discovered in Mazatlán, Sinaloa during infrastructure work in the city. In fact, the initial remains were discovered when a pipe broke and suddenly workers were staring at a bunch of human bones. According to archaeologists with the National Institute of Anthropology and History, 
The settlement was once occupied by the Astalan culture. Starting around the year 900, these people lived in the area around the northern Nayarit region and southern Sinaloa. This was most likely an important settlement to these ancient Mesoamericans, but archaeologists don't have a name or any kind of reference for it. What's interesting about this particular part of Mexico is that very few archaeological sites have been found, yet the existence of this settlement underneath the modern infrastructure shows that there was once an urban sprawl here. The remnants of the great cities and neighborhoods of the Aztalan are undoubtedly still hiding beneath Mexico's modern city streets. Number 3. Treasure in the Kitchen A vase sat in somebody's kitchen in the UK for many years. The people who owned this vase never thought much of it. It was just a fancy blue and gold vase that they could use for holding flowers. As it turns out, this was a very special vase from the 18th century that belonged to an emperor and it just sold at an auction for $1.8 million. This thing had been sitting in a kitchen like it was nothing but a magnet, and now the owners are filthy rich. Historians believe the vase was probably looted from a Chinese palace in the 19th century, then somehow found its way into this house. All we really know is that it came into possession of a man who didn't know its worth, and he passed it on to his son after he died. His son put it in his kitchen and left it there ever since the 1990s. Based on one of the symbols found on the vase, it was originally the property of the sixth emperor of the Qing dynasty, the very last imperial dynasty. He was called simply the Qianlong Emperor and ruled all of China from between 1735 and 1795. The color of the vase itself is a shade of blue called sacrificial blue. It gets its name because the same color decorates many parts of the Temple of Heaven in Beijing. It was at this temple where the emperor used to make sacrifices to ensure a good harvest in the coming season. Number 2. Forgotten Section of Hadrian's Wall Underneath a busy street in the United Kingdom, a previously undiscovered piece of Hadrian's Wall was just found. It happened during work on a water main in the northeastern city of Newcastle. In case you don't know what Hadrian's Wall is, I'll quickly explain. The wall was constructed on the orders of Emperor Hadrian 1900 years ago. At the time, Rome occupied all of Britain except north of where this wall was built. Beyond the wall were the roaming tribes of people the Romans considered to be barbarians. They never could conquer that northern land, and so they built the wall as a barrier to mark the edge of their vast empire. The wall was completed in the year 128 AD, and it stretched 73 miles across northern England. This newly discovered piece is about 9.8 feet long, made of massive blocks of stone. This makes experts believe it was probably one of the first pieces installed, since most of the wall is made of small stones. Of course, historians already knew that the wall went through their city. Still, it's always exciting when they find a new chunk of it hiding in a random place, like under a city or beneath the foundation of someone's house. It's amazing because the wall had originally been built on flat land, yet somehow the land rose enough that it was totally buried under the street. Number 1. Graveyard Under the Street In the city of Larnaca, Cyprus, workers just discovered an ancient cemetery hiding underneath the street. It was discovered while city workers were going about completing an anti-flood project to protect the city from future climate disaster. When they dug the street up, they discovered a graveyard dating back to the 12th century BC that was used all the way until the days of the Roman Empire. A total of 10 graves were found, but even more cool stuff has been found in other parts of the city. Because this anti-flooding project is so huge, requiring massive drainage pipes to be installed all throughout Larnaca, there has been a lot of digging going on. And according to Polina Christofi, a local archaeologist, numerous discoveries have been made. This newest discovery appears to be a piece of an ancient necropolis from the days when the city was called Kition, and in the surrounding area, over 60 other tombs have been found, many of which are thousands of years old. Whose tombs are these, you ask? Well, the ancient city of Kition was established in the 13th century BC by Greek settlers following the end of the Trojan War. That means the people buried here are probably ancient Greeks. Another interesting fact about Kidion is that it had one famous residence, a man named Zeno of Citium. In 334 BC, 
he founded the Stoic School of Philosophy, which still remains alive to this day. Thanks for watching! What kind of treasures do you think are hidden under your own city streets? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!